obviously um i think most of you are aware that kanye put out a track with the game called easy i'm not too sure what what that's going to be on it says the game and kanye west which is a new thing happening nowadays people are not doing the featuring thing anymore it's like a trend in recording they do the and now there's no more featuring so it's not like an artist featuring this person it's like a quote-unquote collaboration which it obviously isn't but still i like that whole thing that they're doing collaborative effort but they've put out a track together called easy the artwork is flipping insane it's like a skinned monkey that nick knight put together i think you know that can, nick knight's connection with donder is really long lasting from the stuff he did with virgil from the stuff he did with bin trill from just the stuff he's done with kanye of course directly and just you know he had maybe one of his better interviews there of all time where he sat down with i forgot her name the woman who gave matthew williams a bit of a run for his money in terms of interviewing he she kind of pressed him a little bit when kanye was going through his stuff in terms of kind of turning on kanye he didn't and she also did a really good interview with um oh what's the guy's name and the founder of days and confused magazine she grilled him super hard um it was a really funny awkward interview um, but she was awesome on, on the flipping show studio but she left i don't know what she does now but she was really good on there um a really good kind of fashion journalist in that kind of snarky helen what's that weird woman called you know that woman that interviewed jordan peterson she had kind of similar sort of tone she was very kind of condescending but in a really cheeky way and she kind of always backed those guys up in corners but anyway regardless nick knight seemed to have a really you know great connection with kanye so it's, you know made sense that he'd kind of pick one of his you know artworks or his photography or his pieces what does he call them no he says he's an image maker that's what nick knight says in it image making so makes sense that he'd do that but that aside image making da -da 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 -da, picked the album cover that went viral people going crazy skin monkey you know everyone's crying you know oh my god it's racism shut up it's a monkey like if you associate monkeys with racism you, it, it shows how little you think of yourself really in it because if you if you don't believe in god we essentially are all flipping descendants of flipping apes anyway so what's the what's the problem here but anyway regardless move on the track itself is i think really good um really 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 good the sample is amazing um it kind of has that kind of um push a t sorry the clips grinding feel to it do 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 maybe it's just me maybe it's a dj me in terms of knowing what songs mix well with it if it, it maybe it's a little bit faster than grinding maybe a bit slower maybe but it has that kind of feel to it so i've been playing it on loop when i've been in the gym recently i really enjoyed it but the bits that really stand out that i thought were really kind of shocking were obviously some of the bars and the kind of barbs that he did towards kardashians and obviously his now soon to be ex-wife and whatnot the situation he's going through and um it kind of reminds me a little bit of um what because again he's talking about recently on instagram about he was complaining about he wasn't invited to you know one of his daughter's what's birthday parties and he eventually did get an invite because he basically had a tantrum online and basically got everyone else involved in his business which then alerted the attention of maybe travis scott who maybe gave him the address of the party but regardless who knows what's going on there it's not our business but i thought this is really interesting because this is coming again the sort of thing about arrested development when you're an artist you don't really grow up and you're not really a regular human being because you've lived especially someone like kanye he's like his level of fame is just on another level and he's also you know maybe suffering from some form of mental illness and he's generally a bit of an agent pro provocateur right provocateur whatever that term is so he definitely likes to press people's buttons so imagine all those combinations in you know involved um in one pot and then you add the fact that he is a creative genius and that he is amazingly gifted in all the areas he's basically pursued and successful he's only going to turn into whatever this monster we have now at the moment but I thought his ability to come on this track and basically insult his entire family <laughs> is just really interesting, especially considering his age and also considering the amount of children he has with this woman in terms of Kim. I just don't understand it, man. Like this little bar here to open the track, like how 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 I hear him bring that into the table and I'm the table is clearly something that is like a bit of an inside it's a bit of a view in terms of like how they talk to co communicate to each other in the family and definitely something that people with any inside would know what he means by this for sure i don't think this is a line out of nowhere to start your bar or to start your verse like that you know how you how i ain't bring nothing to the table when i'm the table like there's no way you say something like that without meaning it to apply to some people um and obviously continues i'm gonna turn up the music wake up the neighbors which obviously you would imagine is above um towards kim because he bought a house next door to obviously live to obviously move closer to the kids because i'll do the breakup he goes i'm gonna get that fuck life tatted across the navel um obviously two-pack reference this is how i have in real life not just on cable in terms of he turns up he is this 
great guy that he is at the moment. The Mrs. Narcissist line I love because there is a lot of weird connections there at play because this could be a little wink and a head nod to Playboy Carti who, when he was going through his baby mama drama with, what's her name, Iggy Azalea, she said something online like he's a narcissist or something and then he obviously took that and ran with it and then named his tour that. Um, and then of course, I'm assuming just leaning into the fact that he is a narcissist and doesn't care about anyone else but himself, cool. And then I'm assuming Kanye and Playboy Kanye have a little bit of a kinship there. They seem like they're spirit animals. So it would be surprising if he used that as basically a, a wink and a head nod, but also kind of leaning into the fact that I'm the villain. Okay, cool, I'm the narcissist. I'll take that, I'll take that adage. I'll take that label. Tell me about my arrogance. Um, No more canceling, I don't negotiate with therapists. <laughs> is a great bar double entendre i don't negotiate with ter ter terrorists I go so relate ascribing to therapists to terrorism is just such a kanye bar it really is because he can't be told anything this is the thing people don't realize this is why i'm a biggest fan of kanye and i absolutely love him because same with joe rogan as much as i don't agree with how he's gone about things i just love the fact that these guys again for to, to a certain degree because you know they can be a little bit annoying but i think for the most part the whole point of having fuck you money is so you can say fuck you is so that you can stand on your shit hold your nuts in your hand and just say suck on that i'm gonna do whatever the hell i want and i think most men they live for that not in terms of maybe being a billionaire but being able to kind of you know be able to take your your wife and your or your partner out to a restaurant that they want and be able to just cover the bill doesn't matter where we go um to pick a holiday destination i got it um to put your kids in good schools i got it cover all their birthdays i got it let them go on trips i got it be able to help out your friends if they need something i got it that's what every money is meant to do like if i don't want to do something i don't do it like do you know what I mean it's that it's possibility it's not much again you don't have to be a millionaire to do it it's just the ability to be like have the, your destiny and you have the ability to look after your family and yourself with, by your own means without having to kind of rely on somebody and wait for handouts that's what all men want so I think when guys see this they kind of can see themselves in him because we all kind of want that level of freedom and we would also do whatever he's doing and if somebody then this, again this is him this is a, he's a heightened version of that because Kanye's always believed he was the Afro and the Omega from Day Dot so then imagine something like that being told by a therapist that what they need to work because when you go to marriage counseling I'm, I'm imagining or a therapy even for yourself you're going to be you know they're going to ask you to be introspective they're going to maybe call you out on some of your bullshit they maybe it's not going to be judgmental but there's going to be an element of it where they're basically telling you things that you need to improve about yourself but if you generally think that you're god's gift to earth or god's gift to women you're not going to be listening to that shit you're going to be thinking you guys are here to sabotage me so, so kind of referring to therapists as terrorists is just such a great bar. Guardier, yeah, want to let God in, right? Of course, great bar to follow up. But tonight, I guess I'll let my pride win. Cousin Dre sent me scriptures, helped me see life better, which is funny. He's talking about scriptures because he's been very, and he's very the most, he's been the opposite of a born again Christian this whole couple of months, isn't it? running around with flipping Julia Fox and their big batty and stuff, right? <laughs> going to all these late night jaunts, all these little bars and restaurants he's going to. I'm pretty sure they don't just uh, flipping sparkling water over there. Um, so it's been interesting to see. Uh, it continues here. Um, do you think Kanye does coke? I don't know. Do, we, do you think he's a coke? Do you think he's a drug guy? I'd imagine Kanye would be more of an MDMA dude. I don't, wouldn't imagine he'd do a coke. I don't be a coke guy. I, mean, I can imagine him being a 2CB, a shrooms guy, an MDMA guy, maybe an edible guy, but I can't see him doing lines and stuff. I don't know. There's something about Kanye where if he would do lines, imagine how he would be if he was on coke or something. Wow. I think he would, uh, yeah, I think he'd definitely be, I don't think he's an ex guy. I don't think he's a Percocet guy. No, maybe he's a Percocet guy. Maybe he's a bit of a Percocet. Oh, he was before. That might have explained some of the bloating he had previously. But yeah, what do you reckon? But yeah, continues. Um, uh, Cousin Dre said, nigga, we having, a, we, we having the best divorce ever. It's the best bar coming up. If we go to court, we go to court together. Matter of fact, pick up your sis. We go to courts together. <laughs> okay. I love that bar. That exchange is awesome. But I was wondering, I don't know if you guys would agree with me. I think... This could be a double or triple entendre or quadruple entendre because Courtney Kardashian's been single, I think, legally for a while. She's only recently got engaged to Travis Barker, right? So why would you say court to come to to, to court with you when she's already divorced or when she's not with um what's his name? Scott Disick. The 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 line I thought that related to was I thought it related more to Chloe Kardashian because she's going through what she's going through with Tristan Thomas. 
So that would make more sense. Even though they're not married, it's still a good way to kind of link it together. Do you know what I mean? That would make more sense. I pick up your sis. That could be anybody. But then maybe he said courts and maybe they refer to Courtney as courts. I don't know. But I think it's a clever little bar there. But saying we having the best divorce ever is such a Kanye bar. Again, because he does this all the time. When he was going through his mental breakdown, he called it a mental breakthrough. He always has a way to kind of spin things that people basically will turn into like a negative to a positive. It's kind of one of those things that you do whenever. Cause I, I do a lot as all my life, my self-affirmations and my self-speak when i go through stuff i just okay this is a trial and tribulation it's something that i'm going to have to kind of bounce back from this is not something that's going to define me i'm going to push through blah 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 you kind of do it just to kind of rev yourself up because if not what's the point of living but i love that bar man honestly it's really really good track i really recommend you check it out i'm not going to go through the entire bar and really analyze all of it but honestly um the game versus the fact the game versus the featuring kanye where it's called easy is great a little bit awkward though because the game did make that track where he's basically saying what do you say um i made i made kim swallow my kids or something remember that flipping track he put out mad disrespectful um i don't know again i couldn't do it i don't know why kanye forgave him maybe because the game's an actual goon who could maybe crush kanye's head with his bare hands maybe that was part of the reason why but it's very interesting to see how everyone's kind of flipped the script on kanye too it was only a few months ago it felt like the entirety of the black community in america hated him for his for his kind of love and adoration for trump and then suddenly he puts out a good album and he puts out an incredible rollout for donda and then suddenly everyone's on his nuts again it's just funny how things change in it but again i think it's more so when you're talented when you're really talented you can get away with murder i think what what book did i read that said this was it a book yeah i think it might have been i think it might have been i think it might have been robert green's book um laws of power so is it for you i forgot what it was maybe it's a robert green book maybe it's a tim ferris book but there's a member book i read that said you have to have three things in your career in terms of if you're going to be successful going forward you have to be either re- you, know, you have to have what, two or three things so you're really good at what you do a pleasure to be around um and you're always on time but if you've got two of the three you're okay so if you're a piece of shit but your work is always good and you're and it's always on time then people are going to put up with you and but then you can't have one you have to have two out of three basically you can't have only one trait because you're going to also suffer and i've noticed that in my workplace too i've been in places where maybe i wasn't the, the perfect person for the role but because i was a pleasure to be around i was a good vibe in terms of the team i was always on time i was never late it kind of afforded me a little bit more of grace and i probably should have got do you understand obviously you need to obviously match the skill level too eventually over time but you can get away with murder that way but if you've got the whole trifecta in terms of you're really talented you're like a freak talent and your work is just amazingly good even when it's not on time people are going to put up with a lot lot more with your kind of you know attitude and how you act look at people like elon musk for instance people pop a lot of elon musk because again our genius of a you know the genius level he kind of operates in the same thing happens with kanye too but it's just interesting to see all these people that were you know really offended at the fact that he was wearing a maga red hat which is you know still i think one of the most ugliest designs that ever exists in terms of something that could get people really upset that stupid hat was so dumb that it made people so angry but yeah whatever um check it out anyway the game and Kanye West is called 